Loki and I are back with another Pokemon X, but Loki controls my game. So at this point, if you YouTube is just gonna be annoying and disable the uh, comments, no matter what I do. So at this point, YouTube can can disable my mom for all I care. All right, so. In the last episode, we battled the fighting type gym leader, got our third, third gym badge, I think. Um, and then off screen, I battled Serena outside of the gym and battled my way to the top to the gym leader, which is an old man with scissors for some reason. He chases everyone around with his scissors and he is the grass type gym leader. I don't remember if I healed, so let's see. I didn't. I don't have any revives, so we're just gonna go in, into this battle with a fainted Lucario, which I'm fine with. So now, because off screen, my Fletchinger evolved into Tail and Flame. I picked up the shiny stone so this thing can evolve. But like I said, I'm not evolving it until it learns Moonblast at level 40, 40 something, and then War Turtle evolved into Blastoise off screen. And so, yeah, pretty much the only thing I need to do is get Flibaby to level 40 so I can finally evolve it. 40 something so I can finally evolve it into Florigus. And then my, my team will all be final evolved. So let's get this gym badge. It's pretty, pretty much C. He's gonna murder everyone with those scissors. But anyway, um, in the last episode, I got completely embarrassed because I never lost that battle against Mega Lucario. And then I just, it wasn't even a critical hit. She just oko the, the Lucario, so. Man, this thing needs a better fire move. Does this, does this learn flamethrower? I mean, I don't know. I better learn flamethrower at some point. Haha, <laughs> flame body go burr. Alright guys, smash or pass? I, I would pass. Oh. Flame body go blur. Flame body go burr? What, what? Are you healing? What are you doing? Do you have le what? Oh, you're dead anyway, okay. You shouldn't make it a point where like, the gym leaders can just mega evolve their Pokemon. Oh yeah, good. Could just mega evolve their Pokemon and like you don't know and they don't mention that they have a mega. Like, in the final gym battle, like, the final gym leader has a Obama Snow, and he doesn't even mega, mega evolve his Obama Snow. So, like, what's the point if you're gonna make... I mean, I don't think Pokemon games have ever been hard, except for Ultra ne Necrozma in, um, Gen 7. <laughs> don't worry, I came prepared. Where is it? I literally just had it. Bag of treats. Yes, sir. Sit. You know the rules. You won't get it until we're done recording. Lay down. Come on, dude. We need to finish this gym battle. Okay. But anyway, um, in I'm in the anime. I'm. That was way too easy, Loki. At the part of the anime where, spoiler alert, um, if you guys haven't watched the X, Y, Drew, X, Y, Z, um, <laughs> anime, I'm at the point where Serena, uh, uh, cuts her hair because, uh, she... He has this huge crush on Ash Kitchen from Paddock Town. And if, if I remember correctly, 
spoiler alert again. Um, at the end of the series X Y X Y Z, um, they don't they don't show it, but Serena kisses Ash. But yeah. Um, but I think I don't know if I said this before. But my favorite Pokemon games are Gen 7. Despise all, all of the hate it gets. It was my very first um, Pokemon game ever. And I really like the like character development of like Howl and Lily. And like the like plot twist of even though I call it a plot twist even though you saw you saw it coming. Um, the plot twist of, um, this mine being, uh, Gladion, like, Gladion and Lily being brother and sister, and then Luzamina is their mom. Uh, where am I supposed to go? But I really like the soundtracks in that, and I really like the plot, even though they did do, like, seven hours of tutorials and stuff, but I really like the Gen 7 games. Okay, there it is. My favorite anime has got to be the one I'm rewatching right now, um, XY and XYZ. And then this, this dude, we don't plot twist. He's the leader of Team Flare. Um, anyway, my second favorite game is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, I just really liked the ending of it and the, again, the soundtracks. And then, um, the plot and then, like, all three storylines. You had to do, you were basically forced to do all three of them. And then during the credits, there was the, that one song, Celestials, I think, by Ed Sheeran. And I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a big fan of Ed Sheeran. Apparently, Loki is. But it's okay, Loki. I'm not a big fan of Ed Sheeran, but I really like that song, Celestials, so. Yeah. Ew. I don't like sitting, sitting next to strangers. I think this dude gives me... Dude, how many times do, do I have to tell you you don't get the treat unless you stay? No, no, no. I'm... You think he hates me? Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Lay, lay, lay down. Lay down. <laughs> Hello, that play lay down. Low key. Lay down if you commit tax fraud. Don't lay down if you commit tax fraud. Hey. Think he commits tax fraud? Sorry. Okay, so basically, this is Cena and Dexio. They are in Gen 7 as well. Um. But anyway, this dude gives me something, doesn't he? Keeping the treats in arm's reach so you don't leave again. Unless you want to become a hostage, Loki. Um, question of the day, What what's your favorite song? Who's your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Olivia Rodrigo and Billie Eilish. Um, please... Um, yeah. My, my favorite song is, uh, uh, let's go, we're naming this thing Cynthia. Alright guys, smash or pass Cynthia. Personally, I, I would smash. Oh no, our dog. He's leaving. No, he's not. Wait. Oh. Why? Why? What? 
I got confused there because I'm like before it even went into the Pokeball, I'm like, wait, that that's a shiny. And then I realized, oh no, that that's not a shiny. Never mind. I don't know where that came from. All my Pokemon are going to Okoyu, so don't know how to defeat. I mean, get you down to health so I can actually catch you. Yeah, dog. That out. Oh, you're dead. We're done. We're done. Dog, that's fine. You're just laying in the doorway. That's fine. And then, and then, um, um, yeah, okay, there's Cynthia. Oh, it's a boy this time. Doesn't matter. It's still naming it Cynthia. You can still be named Cynthia, despise your gender. I wonder, I wonder in the Pokemon world if Pokemon have sexualities. What? Hey, this guy in the Pokeball. Ignore the random token. How do I mute people in real life? Haha, uh -huh, Cynthia, go burr. Cynthia, go burr. Yes, Cynthia, go burr. Baby, fuck it, cute. How do you spell Cynthia? Cynthia. I'd like to give a big shout out to Cynthia for inspiring this name. Um, and then, I'm gonna do this in a later, but Team Flare like tries destroying the world. So the fates in Loki's hands. Whether he wants to press the red button or the blue button. But it doesn't matter because either way, Team Flare will destroy the destroy the world. Either way, even if you press the right button, he he's gone. Great. Oh, there's a treat. Hey, hey, kid, you want some free candy? It's in the back of my back of my uh, truck. It's in the back of my van. It's a shady white van. Uh, you want you want to cheat? Only if you stay for the next two minutes. I promise. It's only two minutes. And then this torture will be done. And you you can commit all the tax fraud you want, Loki. Hey kid, want some free candy? It's in the back of this shady uh, white truck. It's definitely not. Uh, I mean, van, that's definitely not sus. And you can only have it if you stay for the next two minutes. Sit. Sit. Lay down. Okay. This is fine. Do you want to be held hostage? I know, that's a fan. I put it on when you... <laughs> I bet all the fans have fans like that, Loki. Dude, I swear it's only sixty seconds of of your torch of this torture. I don't I don't know why this is torture for you, dog. You know what? You don't have any decisions. You can leave. Bye. Wait. I'm going to leave. Bye. Yeah.